I had to format this document, Wheeled Movement. I have formatted it. I'm going to show you what I did. I have the document here in Notepad. At the top of the document, in Title, I added the words wheelies and I saved it. And if I open this file here, the browser, wheelies shows in the tab at the top. That's not a heading that is in the title. Wheelies is in the title. Then I wanted the heading, Wheeled Movement, to be bold and larger than the other text. I put H1 at the beginning in angle brackets and H1 with a slash at the end of Wheeled Movement. And the H1 means that it's going to make the text larger and bold, and bolder than the other text. I wanted the table to be seen. So I gave the table a border of 10. I wanted the table to be 75% of the width of the screen. Or of your screen, 75% of the width of any screen. So I typed in width equals and the value for that attribute was 75% in quotation marks. I wanted the background color of the table to be light coral. So BG color equals light coral in quotation marks. I wanted the table to be aligned in the center. So the attribute is a line and the value is center. Then, I wanted that to be bold, and that heading to be bold, and that heading to be bold. The document that I was given had TD around, they were the tags for mode. TD, which is a table data cell. I wanted it to be a heading, so I replaced the TD with the TH. So, TH stands for Table Heading, and it picks up the default for heading, which is bold, and center. Right, so we have, I then formatted all of these, which are the headings, as with TH. Then I wanted all of this text here to be aligned in the center of the cell. So, in that cell where the number is, I put a line equals center. But I had to do it for every single one. I had to type it in for every single one. A line equals center. Quite time consuming. And as we go down, every single one. And then also here in the center, I wanted that column to be 10% of the width of this table. So for every single one with a number, I had to add the attribute width and the value 10%. And I had to type it in for every single one with a number. It is quite time consuming. Right. Oy. Then I wanted those where the numbers were quite large, over 20, I wanted those to be red. And in those cells, that was here 20. I added BG color equals red. 
and I had to type it in individually for each one. There, BG color equals red. As I scroll down, yeah, BG color equals red.